everybody. Welcome to Creatives Chat. I'm Sierra and I'm a model and makeup artist. This is Allie and she's a photographer. And today we're covering a topic that was a suggestion from one of our fans. Yay! Yay! Thank you! And it was a request to see how to shoot at different angles and how to make them work because angles can be tricky and angles can also make an image much more interesting. Our first angle is the low angle. That's where the photographer is down low, shooting up at the model. And this one's always kind of tricky because, uh, you know, sometimes you'll get images back and it's like looking right up my nose or, you know, I'm not look. I look way heavier than I should look. Like I know I'm not that heavy and, you know, it's just not, they're not attractive angles if you do the low angle pictures in not a great way. Exactly. So. so there's a few things I found help low angle shots work. One is lens choice. Mm -hmm. When you use a wide angle, you're going to always exaggerate whatever's closest to the camera is bigger. Like their feet might be the biggest thing or their knees yeah. and hips are big. Oh, yeah. You really want to bring more attention to the upper body. Yeah. How do you fix that? lean more towards the camera a little bit. Bring your face to the camera. Mm -hmm. Bringing your face to the camera can fix so many things. It doesn't matter what the angle is. Yeah, true. Um, and use a telephoto lens as a photographer and you're going to get a little bit more compression and you can still get that nice low angle shot mm -hmm. without distorting your model. Okay, so we're outside in my backyard and I'm having Sierra stand straight up and I'm taking a low angle shot. My camera's set at about 40 millimeter. And I'm surprised her head doesn't look smaller, but you can see it's not a really good angle and I am shooting up her nose. I would say it's not her most attractive angle. So what I have her do now is adjust herself so that she's going to bring her face towards me. She's going to hinge forward a little bit at the hips, not a total squat forward, but just a little bit of a hinge forward. And with the angle that I'm using, this will help define her face. It will give her a better overall portion to her body. So from here you can see the results and the side by side. Another one is whenever somebody's shooting from a really high angle. So for example, if you're really, really close to the camera, your bot your head is gonna look so big and then your body's super teeny. Kinda looks like you look like an alien. Maybe a cartoon character? Yeah, a cartoon. And I guess if that's what you're going for, if you maybe or maybe if your character is a cartoon character. You can use this. Sure, but the majority of the time, no. So one of the things here, lens choice, lens choice, lens choice. Yes. If you use a wide angle lens, you may have big eyes, big face, big head, right. teeny weeny little body. And it's really the, here, this one depends on what you're trying to achieve because if you are going for the cartoon look, it's great. But what if you're shooting a boudoir and you want the model to look, you know, sexy? Yeah. Tiny little body isn't... It's not going to be great. So you could fix that again with a telephoto lens, which will not distort. You can also fix it if you're using a wide angle because you really just want more back up. Back up away from the model. And then that brings less distortion. And you can also work with the posing. Which brings us to our third point, which is posing a model with no neck. The over the yeah. shoulder look. Yeah. So I'm gonna have Sierra demonstrate. Sierra, I want you to look over your shoulder and kill your neck. Okay, she's a floating head. Hello. Oh, oh, we can't even find her body anymore. <laughs> so Sierra, let's fix that pose. Put a separation between your chin and your shoulder. And it defines her jaw. And she still has that same over-the-shoulder look. She can still give you that same computer kind of thing. And she I have a neck. Necks are good. <laughs> See the difference? It really helps set off the face. So don't kill the neck. The neck wasn't, what did the neck do to you? <laughs> so the last one, walking around the model. Walk around your model. And find different angles to shoot. Play around with it. Get your safe shot first. Yep. And then play around. Yeah. I do this all the time with Sierra. Mm -hmm. And we would have actually shown it to you tonight, but there's a lot of bugs in the backyard. So you can figure out how to do this. 
this without a video. Walk around your model and try some different angles. So in recap, shooting from a low angle, shooting from a high angle, destroying the neck oh. in bad posing, yeah. and then making sure that you walk around the model to find different angles. So I hope this helps you with your photography and give any tips or any comments, or if you'd like us to cover something else, yeah. put it in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. So if you've liked this video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Probably won't work. Just hit it. See, See you, you next time. I tell her we're in studio recording. Pretty sad. No, I can't. Brittany. Too busy. I'm barely on my little seat. Look Why at this. Why don't you Look move it? Why didn't think of that? It doesn't move, it's full of shirt. Sure. Like, you're still out. Woman. Okay. At the very end of the freaking show, there then you, you suddenly move me in. Yes.